It's live. Hello. Okay. We'll wait for if someone wants to send a text message, just to let us know that you can see us and hear us. <laughs> okay. All right, we're going to go ahead and get started then. Oh, yay, Monica can hear. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. So what we are going to be teaching on today is lead generation. Yay! So we always say bookings are the lifeline to our business, but if you can't get a booking, it's probably because you don't have any leads. So it's a good place to start. So we're going to go back and forth um, with some different ideas on how to get leads. So I'm going to start out with two really – um, kind of beginner, elementary, core of Mary Kay. One is the referral game. If you're not playing the referral game at your parties, you are wasting your time and you are leaving money on the table because all of those women there at that party can fill out at least seven names on the back of your profile card or if you have the fabulous referral sheet, they can fill out 20 names to numbers. So you need to be playing the referral game. If you kind of need a lead in, I know a lot of consultants feel uncomfortable. They're like, I don't know what to say or how do I start out with that? Um, I always just tell people like this is the time where you can pay it forward or bless someone else or maybe you put someone's name down that couldn't make it today um, and I just tell them if you're really competitive you can go down through your phone um, you can start with the A's and just go down and you can give me every Amber Ashley and Amanda that you know um, but I always just tell them you know you can put a name down I'm gonna text them one time and offer them a $20 gift card to use in a future pampering session and it's gonna be from you so no you don't pay for it so if you fill out seven names that's a hundred $140 in free product that you can be giving away and blessing people with. Um, then it's my job to get the booking and my job to turn the facial into a party. The other one is warm chattering. Oh, I know some people get so afraid. They're like, no, I don't want to do that. Or that gives me the heebie-jeebies. But um, I don't intentionally go out to warm chatter. So some of you will be very comfortable with like, okay, I'm going to go to the mall and get 20 new names and numbers today. Um, I just can't put that kind of pressure on myself like that. I'm just not a warm chatter. If you know of national sales director Crystal Trojanowski, she built her national area solely on warm chatter. Um, but I just sprinkle it out throughout my everyday life. So when I was going through DIQ, I sprinkled a lot. Um, and I would just kind of hit on women. <laughs> so if I was in Walmart and I knew dang well where the shoe department was, or I knew dang well where everything in that store was, but I would, if I found someone who worked with a little bit sharp, I would say, you know what, would you mind showing me where you know, where the watches are in the jewelry department, I just can't find them. Um, and then they're supposed to walk you over. So they walk you over and, just, and thank you so much. Susie. I have never had anyone provide me customer service like this before. Can I please get your name and number and have you up to my studio for a pampering session? How easy is that? How easy of an in is that? Um, if you have a waitress at your restaurant and they provide really good service, just say, I have never ever, I come here, you know, Come here every Friday or, you know, at least once a month. And I never had a good waitress like this before. Um, can I please get your name and number? Because you are way too pretty to be serving food. I have a way better opportunity for you, and I would love to chat with you about it. Um, so you can just use little things like that or a cashier at, um, you know, at the grocery store, different things like that. So just giving some sincere compliments and kind of hitting on women is the way to warm chatter. So what other ideas do you have? Interesting. Best? I like that, hitting on women. Um, well, I'm going to go off of what uh, Jen had said about uh, warm chattering and make it maybe a little more fun, too. Um, and this is a scavenger hunt. Now, if you need it, we, we can definitely supply everything. But what's nice about that is Jen hits on women. This gives you a list of exactly what you need to hit on. So it, maybe it's a woman with a stroller, it's a woman in a red sweater, it's a woman in, in high heels, whatever. There's specifications for you to hit on these women. You just go up and say, oh my gosh, I'm in a challenge right now, and I am looking for a woman in a red sweater, and you are that woman in that red sweater. Is there any reason I couldn't give your, get your name and number so I can have this for my training? And then you just get their name and number, and you follow up with them. And it's neat because all of the 
pressure is taken off you and it's all on the list and you have everything all on your list together so that is really fun to do and let's say you see somebody that you really love and it's in sharp and it's a woman with a stroller but you already have a lady with a stroller on here okay so you know improvise guys you can definitely improvise on your own and go up to you oh my gosh I just love your baby you know do it whatever works for you but it gives you a little pre-list for you. And then what's nice too is it also gives you scripts to say. It's a script script for the scavenger hunt and then also to follow up with them. So it really gives a lot of information that you can use um, and you don't have to rack your brain to think of something. <laughs> so that's a great thing to do as well with it. So um, that makes it easy. But I have a really, really good one. And once again, it's a traditional one. And they are your facial boxes. Now, this is one version of it. I know it's all backwards there, guys, but don't worry. But this is a one version of it. And all it is, you go to the dollar store and you get one of the cute little dressy little sparkly bags. And you attach a little survey to it. And it's an entrance form. Thank you, Jen. Mm -hmm. And then it also has a pen attached to it. Everything is attached. So when you go to a store and you ask to put these in, you have everything attached and there's no losing it. So when you come back to do it, all the people do is they fill out this script. Now, mine on the front of this said a register to win a grand prize winner. And you get a Mary Kay gift basket, dinner, and a holiday makeover with five of your favorite friends. Now, you can devise whatever front whatever giveaway you want to do but it's nice to have this pre-made where everything is attached the other great thing is once again it's very easy you go in and choose maybe their uh, skin uh, tanning salons nail salons hair salons places where you know women are going to be it could be your doctor's office your dentist's office women are going to be there and all they're doing is sitting waiting for the, their appointment well have something cute fun sparkly gets their eye catches their eye and it's a drawing it's something they will want to put into and all you do is you walk in and you go up to the owner and you say hi my name is Beth I'm with Mary Kay cosmetics and I'm expanding my area right now and I'm going around to the more elite big word to use elite local businesses to see if I could bless your customers with a little special service as well as growing my customer base. Is there any reason I couldn't put up a little facial bag? That's all it is, guys. No threat, no nothing. Now, if they start to hem and haw and they're not real sure whether they're going to allow you to put this up, you also can add and I will purchase a gift certificate that this drawing will be good for to your establishment. So it's going to give that person a reason that you are putting this in their um, in their establishment. It's going to give the people to come back to frequent with them with the gift certificate that you're giving away. Now, don't give away the sink. Don't give away a $50 gift certificate, but a $10 or $15, $20 gift certificate. It's a great tax write-off, but it's going to help you too. Now, this is one variation, the bag. And this is another one. It's a fishbowl. You know, once again, cute, fun, exciting. You're still having the pen that's attached to it and also the entrance forms that are in here. This is nice because when you go back to pick it up, everything is attached. Plus, people can't say, oh, there was nothing to write with or an entrance form. Yeah, we're right here. So these are just a couple different variations. And you want to go back like every week, every two weeks to check on them. And when you go in and there's nothing in here, you can use that as an excuse. Oh my gosh, it didn't go that well. Would Any reason I couldn't leave this in for another week? If it goes well and you get a ton of them, you go back in and say the same thing. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. I get to bless all your customers with a little extra service for them. Is there any reason I couldn't leave it in for an extra week? So, anyways, good. All right. All right. Uh, my next two. So Web Wednesday. I know today's Wednesday so you might need to plan this for next Wednesday um, but web Wednesday so with your Mary Kay website um, you can do web Wednesday and you can this is something you could just post on Facebook or something like that um, and you can do a little raffle drawing when I have 20 people who register on my Mary Kay website you can put in parentheses like no purchase required um, I'm going to raffle off a satin handset or satin lip set for free or the new uh, the new lash intensity uh, mascara 
Um, this is the great thing about that is, is you get their name, their number, their address, different things like that. Uh, but then you also have all that information already inputted to your My Customers tab. So you can literally are one click away from adding them to your preferred customer program. So it takes a lot of the uh, typing work out of your hands uh, to do that. Uh, the other thing I have on here are fundraisers. So fundraisers are a great way to um, help another organization to raise money and then to leads and help. So, um, you can put a feeler out and just ask if there are any organizations that are in need of some extra money. So I have done um, our local high school, their golf team. They needed uh, golf pullovers. So waterproof, like water resistant. I think they were like 50 or $70 a piece. I can't remember. Um, so what I did was, is I just took a couple items. So you keep it very simple. And I was like, okay, so here's package A, B, C, D, E. Um, and each girl would need to sell four of these packages in order to, you know, get the money that they needed for their pullover for, you know, for free, I guess you could say. Um, so they were just little $25 packages, like a lipstick and a lip gloss or an eyeliner and a makeup remover. Um, and we predetermined them so it was easier um, for everyone else to sort and everything. And then the great thing is, is you just deliver all the product to the golf team and they deliver it to everyone. Um, but I do have, I did have all the customers' names on there. Um, for everyone that purchased, we had, you know, their name, their address, their telephone number, their email address. Um, so again, and then I, you know, would call them or text them and say, you know, thank you so much for supporting the Austin Town Fitch Girls Golf Team, um, you know, for doing that. I wanted to bless you with a $20 gift card and a pampering session, so thank you so much. Um, and then I got new leads and new customers that way. Um, some popular ones are like missions trips as well. If someone in your church mm -hmm. needs to raise money for a missions trip, um, you can do, I've done like cheerleading, uh, you know, you can do a lot of different sports teams and things like that. So very, very easy that way, too. So you can take it away for the next two right. ideas. Awesome. Well, once again, snowball with the gens. This is called Operation Sunscreen, guys. And what's nice about this is it's twofold. First, it's going to generate revenue for you. Because what you do, and this is what it can be, it's Operation Sunscreen. And what you're doing is you're going around to the local business owners in your community. Um, and you're going to ask them to support the local military people by investing in sun scare and sun scare yes in sun care uh, items because unfortunately the soldiers are not gifted with sunscreen items and also some um, toiletry items so it's nice for us to go and ask the local business owners to to donate for that now, there are a couple different variations what you can use. I use a $30 uh, gift, and what that would give them is a lip gloss, the sunscreen. Lip balm. Yeah. Lip oh, yeah. Well, lip gloss for the women, <laughs> <laughs> the um, sunscreen protector for the lips as well as for their body. Then what I also tell them, because a lot of um, people do know that Mary Kay earned 50% profit, but what you can tell them is I am getting no profit from this. I am turning my profit and purchasing another gift for a soldier, um, which then would support not when you get one, not only one soldier, but you have two. Now, that's going to earn you revenue. But the great thing is, is we want to get leads, right? So what you can do is the same thing that Jen said when she was using, using the fundraiser. You're going to go in and you're going to say, oh my gosh, thank you so much for supporting and blessing a soldier. Now I want to bless you with something because you were so kind and generous with a pampering at our studio. Fill out this information and you can use the skincare surveys, guys, because that gives you a lot of information on one paper. You can just slip that over and say, oh my gosh, thank you so much. I do want to bless you with a uh, pampering. So go ahead and fill this out. So then you're getting, not only are you getting and blessing your soldiers, but you're also giving yourself some new leads to uh, be generated with. So that's a great one to use. Another one, and this is relatively new. This, you know, one of our awesome, awesome roll up bags. Um, and what you want to do is fill, okay. You're going to take usually limited edition or, um, outdated items that are no longer, we can no longer get. And what you're going to do is you're going to take that roll up bag. If you know women who work in offices that have a ton of women in their, right within their arm's reach, 
you're going to ask them to go around and sell those items. And what they are is you're going to discount them. There's three different uh, pockets in there. You're going to discount and say five, seven, and ten dollars. And at the very bottom pocket, you're going to have once again skincare surveys. And you're going to ask the woman in the office naturally what's in it for me. Any tell her you sell me ten items. You can get pick it whatever item you want free. Or if she wants something maybe of a skincare item at half price. But you're going to go and have her sell the items. And then you're going to have her also have them fill out the skincare surveys with their name and their number and any additional information she can, but definitely the name and the number. And what's nice about that is then you're going to walk away with a ton of leads, guys. And it you did nothing. You had the woman at the office do everything for you. So that's a great way to generate uh, leads as well as, once again, immediate revenue for yourself. Okay. Um, I have my last three ideas here. So this one, we do not have in the Youngstown area. So I have not done, I don't have um, uh, experience with this, but it's called Welcome Wagon. And a lot of bigger cities or um, I just, I just know Youngstown does not have a welcome wagon, <laughs> um, but ba it's basically a list of like new people who have moved into the area. Like it gives you like your address, sometimes telephone number, different things like that, where you can kind of be a welcome wagon and you never know if they're looking for a new consultant, you know, in their area or, um, or whatnot, but you can always contact them kind of for um, a leads list per se. Um, the other two, so one is a florist. This is one that people don't think about working with a whole lot. So Mother's Day, because Mother's Day is, is coming up. Um, Valentine's Day is another big one, um, but where you can partner with your local florist to get names and numbers and to help them upsell um, their items. So to give you an example, if someone, uh, if you go into a florist and you say, hey, you know, I would love to help you grow your business, and, you know, and we can kind of partner in this. So what I want to offer you are Mary Kay gift cards for $25 a piece. Um, you know, if you have someone that comes in, you can kind of use this as a bargaining tool for them to, to kind of upsell them to, you know, a dozen roses. So, you know, Valentine's Day, like a dozen is like nothing. That's kind of what's expected um, to give to a woman. So if someone comes in, they're like, oh, I'm going to take six roses. And then you can say, you know, just tell the, the shop owner you can use my gift card as a bargaining tool and say, well, you can get six roses for this amount, but if you do the dozen, you get them for this amount and you get a $25 skincare and cosmetics gift card um, through our local Mary Kay consultant here in town. So I can help them upsell. The only thing I tell them is, is I need to keep track of every single gift card that is handed out. So I give them a sheet. The sheet is to have the name, um, the telephone number, and email address of the person who's receiving the gift card. Um, I do put on all of my gift cards. I put a little asterisk and I put in studio use only. So it cannot be used over the phone or through my website. It has to be used in person in a skincare, you know, in a, in a pampering session. Um, so that way you're getting new leads that way. Uh, a lot, sometimes I've had some consultants say, oh, Jen, $25, like that's a lot. Like, I don't know. I will say though, get the penny out of your eyes so you can see the dollar. If you're playing the referral game and you're getting new names and numbers, they're hearing the marketing. Um, so they're, you know, they're hearing that and being a talent scout for you. The other thing is, is I have them use the gift card <coughs> towards any skincare set on the closing sheet. So all of the sets on my the closing sheet that I use, the, the cheapest one is $50. So if anything, I'm not losing any money. They're simply just getting it at half off. Um, but again, I'm still getting leads <clears throat> and I'm still getting, you know, them to hear the marketing as well. So, um, and you're getting them on products for reorders to good customers. Um, the other thing is thinking about uh, networking with someone. So like a florist, I deal with a lot of people with weddings. So you want to think of the same thing with um, like a photographer or um, a banquet center or, um, and really this is just kind of to network and to get to know. So um, maybe they know of some different, um, some different bridal shows that are going on. Um, maybe they let you put stuff up at their banquet center or at their restaurant or at the, um, you know, the bridal, bridal, you know, the bridal dress shop, wherever. Um, but thinking of all those different, you know, the photographers, limo places, different things like that, where, um, you know, you can kind of partner with them, advertise for them, they advertise for you, and you can also use the 
um, business portfolio. So that's kind of where we do like the before and afters. Um, and you can tell them, you know, I'm trying to think, um, I know Michelle, she's the owner of Flower Loft in Poland. So if I say to her, hey, Michelle, if you want to come in, um, we'll do some before and after photos on you and you can go into my business portfolio. So I'll take some of your business cards and women go through there when they're looking at before and afters. They also see your business marketed in there. Um, so that's a good in to do that to get them as a customer and then also just to get to know them so you can give referrals back and forth to one another. So go ahead. Awesome. All right. Another one is um, this could be used for a couple different things, guys. And this is a rose. And this could be used for customer appreciation. It could be used for employee appreciation. Um, what I actually have here, this is a wooden rose. Pretty, it looks just like a real rose. I love these. Um, and what's nice about it is we, I personalized it. This happened to be for a grand opening for a, a local retail store. And what we did was personalize this. I would go in, I'd have a basket naturally um, to uh, have a drawing. So I would get leads that way. And then I would have little goodie bags and I would bless everybody who walked into the store. Um, thank you so much for supporting. Um, this was Maurice's clothing store. Thank you so much for supporting Maurice's clothing store. I so appreciate you as a customer and I would hand them a rose and then a goodie bag. The rose has on it. Thank you so much. You're appreciated. And it would be, it happened to be signed by all the employers, uh, the employees of the store. So that was a great way to uh, generate new leads. And then of course they would fill out a, a entrance form into a goodie bag, uh, a basket that you would be rifling off at that store. And what's nice about this guys is you can use this in multiple ways. If you have a child in preschool, go in and do a mom appreciation day, a working mom's appreciation day. It could be for preschool, a dance studio. Um, naturally you can use it for uh, customer appreciation in a restaurant. Um, and what's nice is with the restaurant, ask them, listen, I'm going in, I'm going to, uh, I would love to do a, a partner with you to do a customer appreciation day. Um, what day works better for you? Pick out a day and you want it to be a fairly busy time naturally. So it's going to be beneficial to you. Um, and then you can have, once again, a basket where they're going to put names in. Um, you always, always, always guys, uh, you know, that's what you're trying to do, generate leads. So you want to make sure that they are filling something out where you can walk away with names and address, uh, names and phone numbers. Um, but you can use it in different areas of that. Um, and my last suggestion, this is a great way. How would you guys learn to get 100 leads in a week? Sound good? Woo, woo. Well, this is a great way. This is what you want to do. This is a Ziploc baggie, plain and simple. What I have in here are 10 skincare surveys, a pen, some pink slips, and, an, and a lookbook. And what you do is you choose 10 women who you know that work with a lot of women, and you say, hey, I'm in a challenge to get 100 leads in one week. I don't know 100 people, but I do know 10 people who know 10 people. Any reason you couldn't help me out with this challenge? And you have them go into their employment office and you have them fill out skincare surveys. And one thing that's easy, once again, you're not doing anything but going around and handing it to them. Two things that are vital is you wanna tell the person that's in charge, make sure they're responsible. Um, because you, you need to tell them, I am responsible for all of these, all of the skincare surveys. So I have to have them returned in completed by X day. Give them 24 to 48 hours to have them return to you. And then choose an exact time and place that you're going to pick them up from her. Um, and then once again, WIIFM, what's in it for me? So the woman who's helping you, you want to tell her. Whatever you would like at half price, or it, you know, if she's a mascara free, give her a mascara free. Once again, as Jen said, get the penny out of your eye so you can see the dollar sign. It's going to benefit you in a many, many ways. And pick ten, 10 women that you know that work in different offices, a school teacher, people in dentist's office, doctor's office, in, in uh, you know, in a lawyer's office who works with a lot of women. Those are the ones you want to hit with and give them out and I had a lot of great luck with those. And once again, you're going to get back a ton, a ton of leads, guys. And that's what we're about. We want to grow leads for you. So um, if I know Jen has some scripts, I have scripts for these as well. Um, the, the scavenger hunt, 
we have scripts, but also the actual sheet. You know, just let us know what you need, what you want, and we will definitely get it to you. Yes, if there's any resources you need, please don't hesitate. Go yep. run right now <laughs> and call, text, box, email, whatever. That's right. Your director for those things that you need to go get those leads. Because really, when you start generating leads, that's when you start generating bookings. Bookings get you team members, and team members let you call the career path. So that's right. um, we wish you the best success. Um, don't take all of these ideas and try and do all of no. them at one time. Pick two to three that you really, really like and that you're passionate about um, and work from those. So work yes. within your strengths, um, work in different circles of leads. And until next time, bye.